If students can imagine it, they can likely make it here. Erica, welcome to the Makerspace. Thank you. Phoenix Charter Academy freshman Darleni Munoz acts as tour guide. A group is making pin buttons. He's making one right now with a beautiful design. Rug tufting is underway, fabric painting, a sound studio is available. No matter race, sexuality, anything, everyone's welcome. The idea for this open studio was conceived after the 2018 gas explosions. Lionel Rondon, the young man killed in the disaster, attended this Lawrence school. We really wanted to honor his memory and that he was a very entrepreneurial person. So we brought the art therapy and the makerspace together. This is how it feels once we bake the clay. Fernanda Lopez, a licensed mental health provider, is from the community arts organization La House. Our mission is to make art accessible for self-expression and self-knowledge. And we've been around for nine years. And in the past five years, we have been collaborating with uh, Phoenix Academy. Phoenix serves students who struggled in larger city schools. Fernanda says many have been pushed toward therapy. Here, students opt in. The makerspace is always available, but never required. You cannot be forced to be in therapy. You cannot be forced to do your healing work. You, you need to want it in order to take responsibility for your well-being. I feel safe here, like my thoughts. I know that my thoughts are like seen, that I'm a seen person in this room. Jenna Javier, almost through high school, is busy with her studies and her one-year-old daughter. She says supports like the encouragement and empowerment she finds in the makerspace have been invaluable. I can learn patience and, and how to cope with certain things and get, they like teach us a lot of healthy coping mechanisms here. There's a lot of intentionality that goes into the work that, that is done in that space and <laughs> students being able to have control and have ownership and be able to have a voice in what they produce. It, it works in so many ways, right? If you said, can we get every student in our school into therapy? I would say, let's do that. And we have an opportunity to do that, right? So 90 to 95% of our students opt in. So today's objective, self-awareness, right? Each session begins with an objective and a check-in. Fernanda noting trauma and stress often lead to feelings of isolation and gatherings like this can counteract that. To get all of us together and just to keep mind and open doors of everyone's emotions and feelings. When you connect with other people, you are reminded of your humanity and your capacity to heal together, but also to remember that you are not alone and that you might, another person might be going through the same things that you're going, and that can be super powerful and super healing. In addition to the arts, students also learn technology literacy in the makerspace. The initial funding for the studio and supplies was donated by Lionel Rondon's family. So many students now being served in his memory. Erica Tarantel, WCVB News Center 5.